Today, The Doctors is all new. Imagine being told the only way to help your child is to surgically remove half of her brain. A devastating dilemma. How can you make a decision as a parent to cripple your child on purpose? A drastic procedure. We were petrified. The risk is huge. Will this little girl walk again? Suddenly, your life just totally turns around. Then, on The Doctors. Right here, right now, you see yourself making these changes. I've seen thousands of deliveries. Anything goes. This is high-tech plastic surgery right on the set. There's three things you can do to make sure kids stay healthy. Doctor, give me the news. Hello and welcome to The Doctors. We have a thought-provoking show for you today. What would you do if your child was suffering from a devastating condition and the only hope for recovery was an extremely risky surgery? Well, we're talking with one mom and dad who actually had to make the agonizing decision to remove half of their child's brain to keep her alive. And later, a woman who endured years of physical abuse now endures years of chronic pain as a result of that abuse. She has searched for relief, for answers, and needs a second opinion, but today, she'll get more than that. So let's bring out our doctors. Dr. Orden, Dr. Sears, and Dr. Masterson. So I hate to do this, but we have to start today's show off on a bit of a sour note. If you're an adult and you're starting to experience headaches for the first time, go see your doctor. It could be something much more serious than just a headache. Coming up, their once healthy little girl came down with a devastating condition that was causing her hundreds of seizures a day, and they didn't know what was going on, so Christy and Chris, the parents, had to act fast. No one could have prepared them for what they would have to face. You don't just go up to somebody and say, we're gonna have a half our daughter's brain taken out because they'll be horrified. They won't believe that that can really happen in today's world. It sounds like something out of a Frankenstein movie, not something out of true modern medicine. The latest on Hurricane Ike. Car. As an ER doc, I know one of the hardest things about being a parent is seeing your child in extreme pain. But imagine being told the only way to help your child is to surgically remove half of her brain. This was the harsh reality that Chris and Christy had to face. Just keep singing. Just keep singing. It's okay, sweetheart. Everything is going to be okay. The seizure started at 5.55 a.m. Before this roller coaster ride started, Jesse was a very outgoing, talkative, little five and a half year old girl. Um, bye. Yay! First seizure in August, we noticed Jesse staring out into nothing, and she wouldn't respond. Jesse, can you hear me? They progressed to what they call a continuous partial epilepsy. That means that she has epileptic seizures 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My On February 20th, they told us it's confirmed that uh, your daughter has Rasmussen's encephalitis. Her first meeting with Dr. Carson, she stood right in front of him and looked at him and said, are you going to take out half my brain? And he said, would you like me to? And she goes, yeah. My six-year-old daughter, Jessie, had a right hemispherectomy, which is the removal of the right half of her brain. Go, Jessie! Had Jessie been allowed to continue on without having surgery, everything on the left side could eventually be destroyed as the disease progressed. We told her more than once that she was going to lose her ability to walk, that when she woke up, her leg wouldn't move and her arm wouldn't move. In addition, she lost her entire field of vision on the left-hand side. How can you make a decision as a parent to cripple your child on purpose? 
I mean, how, how do you make that decision? You, don't, you almost don't think about anything because it's so emotional during that moment um, until you leave and have some time to yourself. Then it hit 